I am Sir Joe Benedelmo, your teacher for this day. Before we start, please uh, listen as I read a short reminder. You can learn something new every day if you listen. Our video lesson this is very short. Please take your time to pay attention and listen attentively so that you can understand the lesson. Our lesson is about solids or space figures. Our learning competencies are First, visualizes and describes solid figures. Second, makes models of different solid figures like cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using plane figures. Solids or space figures. How can you classify solid figures? A solid figure has three dimensions, the length, the width, and the height. So we have here a prism. These are the parts of a solid figure. The flat surfaces of a solid figure are called face or faces. So in our example, we have here six faces, one at the top, the other one at the bottom, the other one in front, while the other one at the back. The, last, the other one is on the right side, and the other one is on the left side. Next part is the vertex. It is a point where three or more edges meet. So plural for vertex is vertices. Next part is the edge. Edge refers to the line segment where two faces meet. A solid figure can also have curved surfaces. Example of a solid figure with curved surfaces are, first one, sphere. So sphere are round objects. Examples of sphere are the ball, the globe, the ball bearing, water drops, bubbles, and some planets. Another curved surface solid figure is a cylinder. So examples of cylinder are the tin cans, candles, toilet paper rolls, cups, aerosol cans, and some flower vases. Another one is a cone. So example of a cone is an ice cream cone and party hat. Solids or space figures. Some solids have all flat surfaces. They are named referring to their faces. So we have here a cube. A cube has six square faces. The other one is a rectangular prism. It is a rectangular, it has six rectangular faces. The other one is a triangular prism. Triangular prism has two triangular faces, and three rectangular faces. Other examples are pyramids. So remember that pyramids are named according to the shape of its base. So the first example there is a triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid has one triangular base and three triangular faces. Second one is a square pyramid. A square pyramid has one square base and four triangular faces. The last one is a rectangular pyramid. It has one rectangular base and four triangular faces. How can you build a solid figure? So we use net in order to build a solid figure. Nets are patterns that can be used to make a solid. These are some nets for a cube. Each of the faces is connected to at least one other face. So if we are going to fold these nets, we can form a cube. So for your activity, activity A, simply identify the name of each solid figure. Number one, it has one rectangular base and four triangular faces. Number two, 
it has a circular base. Number three, it has six rectangular faces. Number four, it has two circular bases. For activity B, no need to copy because in your activity sheets, you already have this one. So simply complete the table by filling the blanks. Number one, a rectangular prism. How many faces does, does it have? Edges, how many vertices? Number two, cube. How many edges? How many vertices? And what are the shapes of its faces? Number three, rectangular pyramid. How many faces? How many vertices? And what are the shapes of its faces? Activity. Please try to trace each net and cut it out. Fold on the line segments and tape together to make a solid. Then, name each solid figure. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you for your time.